Hi, I'm Jen Browning in Tech Service at BASF. Today we're talking about best management practices for using Nemesis beneficial nematodes. Most of the questions we get about using nematodes have to do with best management practices. So before we begin today, I want to let you know that nematodes are an easy way to start using biological controls in the greenhouse. Let's look at some questions. You use nematodes as a foundational biological control product. What that means is that you make regular applications of nematodes in your integrated pest management program and you build other controls around them, like cultural controls, mechanical, and also conventional chemistry sprays. One of the great things about Nemesis Beneficial Nematodes is that they're compatible with a wide variety of other products you might want to include in the tank. That includes fertilizers, fungicides, and also insecticides. You can visit our website for a full list of products that Nemesis is compatible with. You make applications of beneficial nematodes ideally before your pest pressure is very high. Like all biological control products, Nemesis is going to work the best for you when your pest pressure is low. So be prepared for building fungus gnat and western flower thrips populations before they get too high for Nemesis beneficial nematodes to really do a good job for you. Knowing what rate to use is based in part on the information that you'll find in our technical bulletins, and then we use a good rule of thumb for making biologicals applications. That is, you're gonna start with a high rate and a short interval. Once you feel like you've established control with that application, you can back off one or the other. You can either apply a lower rate or on a longer interval, depending on whether you'd like to apply less product or spray less frequently. Nemesis is compatible with other beneficial insects and biological control agents that you would use in the greenhouse. It fits into the biological category of your integrated pest management program that you're already using. So you can continue to make applications of the biologicals that you use today. You can make compatible conventional chemistry applications. And then you also want to be deploying your cultural and mechanical controls for a fully rounded IPM program. One of the ways to tell whether or not your Nemesis applications are working is to just observe the general pressure that you see in the greenhouse. But one of the best ways to know whether or not your Nemesis application is working is to use sticky cards. You want to put fresh sticky cards out on a weekly basis and then make sure that you're following up and going back and observing what's on the cards and also taking counts. That's probably the best way to know whether or not you're controlling, for example, fungus gnats with your Nemesis beneficial nematode application. Thank you for watching this video and be sure to check out the others in the series. I hope today's questions have helped you feel more confident about including Nemesis Beneficial Nematodes in your Greenhouse IPM program.